In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change stages on an opportunity. So when you're in Salesforce, we want to get to the setup menu and specifically to the object manager. It's in the object manager that you can change the structure of the data for each object in Salesforce, whether it's a contact, an account, or an opportunity. That's where you can add fields, that's where you can change values of fields. So uh, let's start by just going to an opportunity because it's going to give us a shortcut to get to the object manager specifically for opportunity records. So just go to any opportunity and then click on the cog in the upper right hand corner and click on edit object. This is our shortcut that takes us straight to the object manager and it takes us to the opportunity object in the object manager. Then you're going to want to go to fields and relationships. This is where you can add new fields or change settings of different fields that are on the opportunity. Uh, in this case, we're going to look for stage. So stage is a pick list. And when you click on stage, you'll see all of the uh, stage values, the pick list values. In this case, these are the different stage stages in that opportunity. So prospecting, qualification, etc., and the probabilities associated with those stages. You can also see they're in a specific order. So it's from this screen that you can add new stages, you can reorder stages, uh, and make other changes. So let's pick one that already exists. Let's take negotiation, which is a 90% probability. We'll click edit for this stage. And here we can change the probability of it. Also, whether what forecast category, whether it's an open or a closed stage. If you want, you can delete these stages or you can just deactivate them. So deleting them removes them from the system altogether. Deactivating makes them inactive, so they're no longer an option for you to choose, but they're still there in case you want to reactivate them later. Um, generally, it's a good practice to deactivate stages. Um, you, you rarely want to actually delete um, metadata from Salesforce if you've been using it for a while. Uh, it's better to you know, hide fields or deactivate values so you're not um, doing something you can't undo later. Uh, anyways, I hope that helps. Thanks.